Uh-oh, David. We would made a mistake. Last Wait, week, really? w w two oh. weeks ago, we said it was A24 next, and then what's this video game nonsense? I haven't heard of such a big, a big mistake since, um, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, late stage capitalism? Is that too hot of a take for a movie podcast? It might be. Hey, we're talking about A24 movies. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That was a great introduction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going through our, our top five of A24 films uh, because A24 makes a lot of really good films. David, yeah. do you have you heard of A24? I have. I also am currently wearing some A24 shorts. Oh! Uh, I I got them before they sold out, and I overnighted, overnight shipped them. And they are super comfy. Shorts? <laughs> the, uh, don't you make, like, a short episode, maybe? <laughs> number five is my number five. <laughs> um, I chose Ari Aster's Midsummer as my number five. Oh, my five. God! It's very good. It's wonderful. It's life-changing. I am the May Queen, and I have been transformed. Ethan, guess what? Huh, what? My number five is Ari Aster's... Hereditary, <laughs> um, which I think is the that's, slightly that's superior uh, horror film, uh, just because it has that family dynamic that really grounds it in reality. And, like, I I love Midsummer. Midsummer was very high on my 2019 list, but just not as good as Hereditary. Plus, uh, that fucking car scene is unbeatable. Uh, Ethan, what's your number four? My number four, speaking of unbeatable... unbeatable one thing that we can't beat is the uh, soon takeover of AI. And robots will soon rule the world as they potentially almost maybe did in Ex Machina. The <laughs> Alex Garland film about robots. And also yes. about dancing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, really good dancing scene. Mm -hmm. uh, my number four is a much more realistic, even though, like, Pretty close to that X Machina being realistic. Um, and that is Bo Burnham, fucking who would have thought, uh, directorial and writing debut with Eighth Grade, also starring Elsie Fisher, who did phenomenal in that role. Uh, I just love this movie. It's so, it's so just heartfelt, and you can just, you can feel those, those feelings of being in Eighth Grade and not really knowing who you are and trying to discover yourself, and it's fucking phenomenal. I think it's more important to repress all feelings. And give very st like st sterile and uncomfortable performances heavy. intentionally, as they oh. did in Yorgos Lanthimos's film *The Lobster*. Holy shit! Yes, yeah, great I have not flick. Seen *The Lobster*. It's ooh, it's very good. Um, uh, ten, 10 out of ten. I love it. I wish I could be a lobster one day. Actually, I don't think I would choose a lobster. <laughs> Um, Ethan? Hi! Hey, David. My number three is, uh, is a movie all about, uh, road trips, uh, selling magazine subscriptions like you maybe used to do when you were in elementary school. I know I used to do that. Uh, it's American Honey. It's got, uh, Shia LaBeouf. It's a almost three-hour road trip movie just about going cross-country and selling newspaper subscriptions and, uh... Finding out who you are. You know, weirdly yeah. enough, everything that happened in American Honey was what I experienced when I was in elementary school. That's kind of a weird... I haven't seen the film. I hope that's not a troubling statement. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, I had a transition specifically between my own um, uh, picks. So, you know, my do you remember my number three, David? It was um, uh, Yorgos Lanthimos yeah. film, The Lobster. And I hear you're fond of me, Lobster. Oh, my God. It's The Lighthouse, baby... In the best two? transition I've ever made. There it is. You're number two? Yeah. Number two is Lighthouse? Lighthouse. Ethan. It's the Lighthouse. You know what's crazy? Hey, D. Is Hi. My number two is also a 2019 A24 film. I mean, obviously, it's a given that it's an A24 film. Right, right. It actually would be weird if it wasn't an A24 <laughs> film on this list. I would actually... David, I'd beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Speaking of getting the shit beaten out of them, it's... Your movie, then you say your, then you say, I was gonna then you say, say I was what gonna say your movie, then you say it's your movie. Gems. Yeah, there um, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the Safety Brothers teaming up. Uh, wow, that pizza's crunchy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go down to pizza part. 
<laughs> nope, nope. Leave the pizza crust in. Um, but you know what pizza is? Is New York, and this movie is very New Yorkish. <laughs> no, I got it, you fuck. Um, I know. Uh, Adam Sandler stealing the fucking role as this jewel salesman who just loves to keep gambling and keep that adrenaline high, and it's fucking awesome, dude. It's just it's. It's one of those movies that I haven't stopped thinking about since I saw it, which wasn't, like, that long to, a long ago, but, like, that feeling of just, like, constantly being on the edge of your seat and not on, like, on to the next bet, it's phenomenal. Ethan, what's your number one? My number one is the one that makes me sad. The one that I love is the one that makes me mad sometimes when I think about the scenarios no, they got into. No, that, that, do you no, not, whatever the not fuck a musical? that is, I do, no, definitely not a musical. Okay. <laughs> just, just. Fwick. Um. <laughs> Fwick. Let's. What's the best way to talk about income inequality? What's the best way to address uh, hidden Even, hidden homelessness? Parasite Parasite is not. That's no, not. It was a different it's one. Not it's not an A24 different, film. A I'm doing a different. I'm doing a different movie. It's a different one. <laughs> oh, okay. I think one of the best ways to do it is show poverty through the eyes of a child, much like you had in films. And shows such as The Little Rascals. You remember those little rascals? They were so sm- small and rascally. Um, my number one A24 film and the film that is kind of dug a hole and just kind of has made a little nest inside of my dangled heart there like a bird would on a birch tree. Um, it's The Florida that's a, Project. That's a beautiful visual right Thank there. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> that's really I good. love The Florida Project. You know... I've only seen it once. I really should watch it again because my memories of this movie are very, very fond. Some, I, it's one that now, even just watching the trailer, there's going to be a tear or two for me from you, boy. Yeah. Sometimes I just think about it and I just like cup, pour a couple out, you know? David, what do you, do you ever feel sad? <laughs> does your, yes, but not does your I movie think about feel, my oh, you know, makes me feel good, What's though, your number is, one? Is knowing that my number one is also the only movie that overlaps on both of our lists. And that is Alex Garland's Ex Machina. I love this fucking movie. It's perfect. It takes place in a single location, essentially, uh, besides the setup, the like the opening. Um, and it's really just like a battle of the wits that you don't even really know is a battle of the wits until it becomes. I'm going to say it again a battle of the wits. <laughs> I'm, you know. <laughs> eighth grade you mentioned earlier i would call that one a battle of the zits because in eighth grade your face is doing all that crazy Jesus stuff right uh no i really like i got it <laughs> that was just something else I don't, <laughs> that was a round of applause to that one um i love x machina you know i love x machina you got me a x machina mug I sure for you christmas mug. and i drink out of that thing twice a week because i wash it after i drink out of it and mm-hmm. then by the time it gets washed again in the office it's like thursday so i drink out of it one more time and then it's ready for me again on monday well and that's like it. that's it that's it for for um those yeah. are hope, our no, wait top hope, no there's a buy a24 films. i got a bit Jesus. no i got a bit i got a bit i got a bit are you sure did you write the bit no, down sh- did you like sh- let me the do p- the bit please <laughs> that's all of our a20 a24 films that we were talking about and I got I got this picture of all of them. David, you may ask, why did I tear up that picture? Well, I'm about to tear up this fucking dance floor because that um your favorite because that's from your favorite the your favorite one is that what that one is. That was really good. You know what? Uh, I hey here's a here's a fun fact about Ex Machina. Um, it was released in 2009. Sorry, I misspoke. It was released in a year that was not 2009, but. Weirdly enough, we're going to be talking about 2009. 2009, here we come! 